and welcome to the 42nd video of Unstoppable Equestrian. I'm Danielle Pools from Dressage Plus. So after a little break from recording videos, I'm back again and I want to kickstart it off with a four part training video series on visualization. And vis visualization is such an important tool that we should be using in our training and in our competition riding. And I wanted to talk a little bit more about it. Uh, it's a tool, visualization is a tool that's getting used by so many different athletes all across the world and it's getting talked about more and more and becoming more common to bring in to our training and especially into the equestrian world and it's just such a useful and helpful tool to help us get success in our riding. So whether it's a training at home, going in for a really great training session, visualizing that, what you want to achieve or in your competition preparation. So in this first video of four, I wanted to share with you the two different ways you can visualize and give you a bit of information there so you can take it into your training and practice visualizing for yourself if you haven't already done so. So I want you to close your eyes for a moment and I want you to picture yourself up on your arena riding, just a training day at home and just notice when you close your eyes, are you seeing yourself in your mind sitting on top of the horse and you're looking down at your horse in front of you and you can see their ears and their neck and the arena in front of you. Are you seeing yourself like that when you close your eyes? Or when you close your eyes, are you watching yourself from the sidelines and watching yourself trotting around the arena and cantering around the arena? And you can see your whole horse and you can see your whole body and you're, you're watching from the sidelines. So these are two different ways to visualize and there's no right or wrong, it's just knowing what's the natural way for you and your default visualization method, I guess. So just, just notice, is it from you sitting on top of the horse or are you watching from the sidelines? So these two different ways have different names. So if you, when you close your eyes, you're seeing yourself sitting on top of the horse, you're looking down at your horse and you're, you're riding along in your mind, then you're associated, you're visualizing in an associated way. So you're in the, associated into the picture and you can feel, generally you can feel the horse moving underneath you a little bit more. Uh, and you're riding your horse in your mind. Whereas if you're watching from the sideline and you can see your horse and you riding in front of you like you would if you were uh, judging or, or instructing someone, then you're dissociated into the picture. So you're visualizing in a dissociated way. So like I said, there's no right or wrong. Everyone will have a natural go-to way and a strength, I guess, of what they prefer doing. And I just want to bring your attention to this. And also it's really important to I suppose teach yourself or train yourself to be able to switch between the two, associated and dissociated. And I want to share with you why the, the pros and cons for between the two ways of visualizing. So you can take that into your learning and use it to help enhance your uh, training even more. So if for example, you naturally when you close your eyes, you're associating to the picture. You feel yourself, you're sitting on top of your horse, you can see see the horse in front of you, you, you can't see your own body, you can just feel your body maybe and see your hands. Then the the pros of, of associating into visualization is that you're more in the feeling, like you you can feel yourself on your horse, you can feel your horse underneath you, and these pros are really great because you can pick up on the feeling, you can uh, create more elasticity or harmony or rhythm or uh, expression in your riding and in your training how you want to feel the test to go or where you want to start using your aids for certain movements and this is so beneficial this is what training is about feeling isn't it R riding and dressage is all about the con on the flip side the con of visualizing in an associated way is that if you find you're an, a rider that gets quite nervous at times or gets a little bit uh, those kind of what if feelings and um, a little on edge in your riding sometimes when you visualize with too much feeling in an asso um, associated way then you can get caught up in that emotion in that feeling and if it's a negative one of what ifs and worries and nerves and, and feeling your horse building up underneath you and getting nervous and hot then that can really not be a great thing for your training and for your comp preparation or your training preparation so sometimes being associated in your visualization isn't always great on the so when we then take it into the dissociated way of visualizing and I want to talk you through the pros and cons in that area so that you can get a feel for what might work well for you in your training when we're dissociated 
uh, the pros are um, exactly what we kind of talked about, the cons in the associated one. When we're getting too caught up in the feelings and getting nervous for a competition or training, we want to be able to dissociate in our visualization so we can see ourselves from the sideline and we can watch like a coach or a, a judge. Um, have you ever had a competition or had someone video you and in that test you, you were freaking out, you were feeling nervous, you weren't in the moment, you were just unable to relax into the test and you thought it felt horrible and then you've gone home and watched it on uh, the replay on the video and you can see from the video you just, you just want to say to yourself why can't you just roll your shoulders and relax like why didn't you just breathe or well, it's not that bad why can't you just kind of um, do something like add a movement in or uh, give an aid or something like that and you can kind of coach yourself through it and it doesn't feel so bad when you're watching from the sidelines and that's the the pro to visualizing dissociated that you can detach from the emotion and detach from the feeling and you can get a little bit more instructorish on yourself I guess and tell yourself no sit up put your legs on ride uh, relax whatever it might need to be the con I guess of visualizing dissociated is that sometimes you can't connect enough to the feeling so when you're watching from the sideline you can't always feel that great feeling you want to create under your horse and sometimes it might be that you're imagining more energy in your horse or more relaxation or more um, expression and sometimes if we're dissociated and watching from the sideline it's not as easy to make your body kind of feel that and and then obviously if our body's not visualizing it or feeling it, it we won't maybe not take it into the training sessions so I hope that makes sense and the difference between the pros and cons of visualizing associated in the moment and dissociated a bit kind of disconnected emotionally and, and through feeling uh, both have their um, great benefits in our training sessions and I want you to just think about what is your natural go-to and where can you use each one to help you enhance your training for me I'm a natural um, associated into my visualization that that's my style naturally and um, I'm a very kinesthetic very feeling type person so straight away when I close my eyes I see myself on my horse and this is great but at some stages of my training it's not always great if I'm getting too emotionally involved in the situation uh, or too much nerves or or anything like that so I have to train and really focus to watch from a dissociated uh, angle and so it is just about being aware and practicing on both sides and seeing which one works best for you so have fun with that guys enjoy and I will see you in next week's session for some more information on visualizing bye